Hey there, aviation enthusiasts. This is Michael from Nocturnal Simulations, and I'm thrilled to kick off a brand new series all about the remarkable Pimax Crystal VR headset. I'm here to share some incredible insights, tips, tricks, and my personal adventures with this cutting edge technology. In this series, I'll be delving into the immersive world of flight simulation using the Pimax Crystal, particularly in the context of Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can expect a blend of captivating flight experiences, essential tech advice, setup pointers, and comprehensive guides to help you make the most out of your Pimax Crystal. For today's episode, we're diving into the realm of visual enhancements and performance boost. Our focus will be on a few exciting features. The automatic IPD interpupillary distance enabled by eye tracking and the 120Hz refresh rate. These game-changing elements are currently exclusive to the beta version of the Pimax software. Luckily for me, I've got early access directly from the wonderful folks over at Pimax. I'll walk you through the process of setting up the automatic IPD with eye tracking making sure you're optimizing your visual experience for maximum comfort, realism, and performance. Additionally, we'll explore the 120Hz refresh rate and the benefits it can provide. And here's the exciting part. If you're as excited about the Pimax Crystal as I've been, or if you're already on the lookout for this phenomenal headset, I've got something special for you. By using the discount code NOCTURNAL20 during checkout, you can snag an exclusive $20 discount. Just hit up the link down below to grab this deal. Also, stay tuned for future videos, as there's so much more to uncover in the upcoming episodes. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's take flight together. While the official release timeline might be a tad uncertain, worry not, because the info I'm dropping today will serve you well whenever you decide to take the plunge. First things first, make sure your headset's firmware is up to speed. Once that's locked and loaded, head over to the Pimax software and dive into the magic. Hit up the device settings and give eye tracking a green light, and while you're at it, don't forget to flip the switch on the auto IPD adjustment. A game changer for those of us who share headsets or just want to skip the IPD guesswork. Pop that headset on and let the mechanical symphony sweep you away as it locates your perfect IPD setting. Bonus tip, activate the wearing location reminder for pro level positioning assistance every time you step into the virtual world. Ready to supercharge your gaming experience? It's time to enable fixed foveated rendering to maximum. This little gem unleashes dynamic foveated rendering, blurring the non-essential areas and boosting your performance. For all you Microsoft Flight Simulator fans out there, if you're using Pimax OpenXR for your VR setup, don't forget to activate foveated rendering and choose the quality preset as shown. Now, let's talk numbers. Brace yourself for an impressive FPS bump of around 10 to 20% with this one button click. This is on a 4090 running medium to high settings and 100% rendering in each eye within the Pimax crystal. This is also while cruising around in the virtual skies of Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is arguably the hardest sim to run currently. And if you were to run at a lower graphic settings, whether in the sim or through the headset, you will likely see see an even bigger increase than that. As we transition to the topic of the glorious 120Hz refresh rate, the verdict is still out on how much it contributes to the overall experience within Microsoft Flight Simulator simply due to its hardware requirements. However, keep in mind that a higher FPS is key here, promising a butter smooth ride as you swivel your head around to soak in the vistas. And that wraps up this episode, my fellow aviators. May your flights be steady and your adventures boundless. Until next time, happy flying.